Welcome back to the Ghost Key. I am Gray, and today we have sort of a new, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, kind of a spin-off LP here. I've been kind of wanting to do this for a while, and today is the day that we're going to start this. I am flying solo today because Carrot is sick. So, it's just going to be me, and it'll probably be me for most of this little LP. Um... So, yeah, with the exception of a few skirmishes, I think um, some of them are just easier with two people, and we'll get to those. But um, first, before we get started, I'll show you what I've got with my skirmish traits and stuff. I'm rocking the herbalist because I like herbalists. Um, at least when you're soloing skirmishes, they're much, much easier to use. Um, I was using the protector with this guy previously. That's why some of these... Um, the herbalist has a lot of defensive skills although in my honest opinion it's not going to be the end of the world because um i'm specced as a healer so i'm going to be help healing as well as the herbalist will be healing as well so yeah that's that's that so like i said she has a mostly um you know uh tank stuff the the tanking uh soldiers but anyway so that's that, and I did, you know, do some shit to increase my stuff and whatnot. Um, always a good idea, if you can see the level thing down there on the herbalist, it's always a good idea to keep the level around yours, if not a little bit higher. Um, so you know if you're ever getting your ass kicked in a skirmish, that's probably why. You might want to go check those and all that good shit. But anyway, our first one we're going to do today is the Prancing Pony. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that up. These are just the ones, I'm only level 65 as you can tell, um... These are only these are the ones that are uh, that are available to us now. Um, a good handful of them are available to you throughout the storyline. Like I said, I'll show you how um, kind of spec and hands of healing here. Um, I just enjoy it a lot. So um, yeah, all right. So we'll just go ahead and join that shit and jump right in and call it good. Um, I enjoy these a lot. I think they're really really neat. But, um, all right. So, um, yeah, and when you jump into these, you'll get, like, a little, a little, little synopsis thing. You know, that one we got from Galadriel or whatever. Tell he's straw, we're ready to do this shit. Um, so now I've got two little minions with me. I got my herbalist here. She's all decked out in the Rohirrim shit. And, of course, uh, as a captain, I've got, um, the little... Whatever they're called, the little fucking minions, little standard bears, whatever they are. Um, I prefer these guys over the standards themselves, just because they're fun to have. And I've got a dwarf run right now, so I mean, yeah, nice little, nice little group here. So anyway, all right. So these are, in all honesty, um, pretty easy. I kind of default to this one um, as the one that I do. Um, oh shit! I forgot the song brother, this little shithead. Here, you you get that. So I can do some of my skills and shit, do my heals. Um, I default to this one when I do it, when I run it solo, um, because it's really easy and that's just it. I mean, it's just an easy one to do. And um, so yeah, um, one of the reasons why I did put a lot of that defensive stuff on the herbalist, um, if you couldn't tell already, they will draw aggro quite a bit, and I, and I mean quite a bit. I mean, unless you have um. I usually run this with my, uh, this is my tactic here. When the torchbearers come out, which you gotta go take care of these guys before they get to the Prancing Pony, I just jump out and take care of them and let Heath Straw tank them. That's why I also have the Herbalist, because the Herbalist can help heal him while I'm going and taking care of them fuckers. So, yeah, that's that. Um, like I said, uh, the Herbalists tend to take quite a bit of quite a bit of uh, aggro when I run this stuff solo with my runekeeper um, I can pull aggro off of her easy enough um, the problem is I just have to make sure I tag everything and you know keep it pissed off enough and hit it enough to ooh, I love these guys keep it pissed off enough to um, to keep coming at me um, I don't know if you've noticed already uh, Heathstraw has already deviated from his original starting location that's also a thing that they make a habit of doing. Um, at least he does. 
Now let's say that an NPs NPCs do that as well. So that's just something to take uh, take a look at. All right, he's just getting pretty beat up there. Let's give him a fucking heal there, even though that kind of sucks. But anyway, we do need it. Defeat uh, these Daywalker Berserkers though are kind of tough. They usually do put a pretty pretty big hurting on you and everybody else involved until you bring them down. And I'm trying to kill this fucker. Oh god. Yeah, and they stun. That's something too. I mean, they stun those bitches. So and then of course when we get the defeat thing, we can heal. He's struck quite a bit there. And then pop our heals on everybody. And yeah, everyone's all fat and happy. Although. Although this does not, I don't think this really updates very well. I, for whatever reason, it kind of lags behind how much health he actually has. I think, because I mean, I don't think this fucker was doing that much damage to him. In all honesty, I, I don't see him doing all that much damage. Ever we get the dudes coming from this direction. So, usually when we have uh, ads come over here from the same direction as the torch barrel, let Heath Straw fucking piss everything off first, and then go after this guy. And get my little buddy in tow, and then we'll just hammer on him and see. There, there goes the wolfies. Don't resist my shit. Little bastard. Anyhow, um, I did not mention this, um, when we, uh, when we started, but, um, you can scale the, um, skirmishes to basically whatever level you're looking for, um, when you solo them, I just keep them at whatever level I'm at. That's just the way it is. And we got a little encounter guy coming out. Ah, oh, fuck. This is one thing I don't like. I don't like when we get spawns in the encounter monster right here. All in the same area. And I will go pull him uh, here in a second. So. There we go. Yay. Um, my strategy with this guy is I have the standard bear that... Um, increases our uh, mitigations and shit out um, and that's kind of the idea with him healing and myself and the herbalist um, we should be able to pretty much handle everything oh this is gonna be tricky here uh, shit I used the wrong thing and now fucking what's his name is gonna be over there oh not good not good at all Yeah, that's what I thought would happen. See, I got out of range. That's one thing I don't like about the captain. You have range on this thing, on your, your one skill, your uh, song brother thing, and it's stupid, stupid short range. Why do I have Heath Straw targeted? That's not who I'm trying to kill. All right, let's find Storthy here again, which is what I named him all of like two seconds ago, and now we're kind of in a quite a interesting little predicament here with... Uh, Though we are pulling, we are pulling most of the stuff off each try, I think. If we go and piss this guy off, we'll be able to, there we go, give Heath Straw some help. And all that good shit. Where is my healer? Is she way the fuck over there? This'll help. Rawr! Heals for everybody. That's one. Everyone but Heath Straw, for whatever reason, he's taking way tons of damage. Tons of damage for some dumb reason. There we go, get my little defeat thing going, and we're good to go. More heals for you, Heath Straw. You should be taking these and getting pretty good heals out of them, but, uh... Oh, is that the first, uh... Yeah, I think it is. That was the first wave. Here, Heath Straw, have more heals. Jesus. taking He's taking a lot of damage from just, uh, like, one monster and shit. That's kind of, kind of disconcerting. Kind of, kind of not happy about that. But I mean, everyone else. If you looked at, well, of course, Prancy Pony only takes damage if the uh, Torch Bears get to it. But if you look at the other two, our Herbalist and uh, our little uh, standard bear guy. I don't even remember what the fucking term for him is. It's been a long Harold. There we go. That's what we want to call him. Our little, our little Harold. Let me go over here and piss you off. See if we can do that. I was really hoping on having the um, NPC tank these primarily uh, because since I am more uh, more of a healer, I'm not going to generate all that much aggro. And the herbalist seems to be... Uh, eh, she's doing a decent amount. I mean, 
we're really kind of splitting up the aggro between you know myself, the herbalist, and uh, Heathstraw here. The only problem is Heathstraw is not as tough as he usually is. But hey, it is what it is. That's okay. Now we can go over here, hit this guy, kick his ass. Those guys do generally, when you solo, go down pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, so it's not anything to worry about it's as long as you get to them. I mean, it is, it is, in all honesty, easy to just completely, completely forget about them. I mean, I've been so engrossing and killing shit that, you know, all right, now we gotta do this little encounter. That's one thing, too, that's great about um, the Prancing Ponies. It's really easy to go through and get all the encounters and make sure that shit happens. Otherwise, come on. Otherwise, um, you have to, you know, like I said, it's, you have to kind of figure out where they are, first of all, because some of the zones are kind of big, and you can't really leave the NPCs alone sometimes. The Fort of Brune Inn is one of the ones that's really bad, too. That one's, that one's one we'll need, definitely need two people for, to at least get all the encounters, because it's just much easier. You can't really leave Elodin and Elro here on their own to, to tank anything, because they spawn a decent amount of monsters, and... They like to drift like him as well, so like you'll get one of them over here tanking like three monsters and die, and then you'll fail the scenario. So you really don't want that to happen. So like I said, we'll just go over here, take this guy out real quick. Yeah, the herbalist is over there, at least healing. Heat straw. That's what I want you to do, bitch. Nah, nah she pissed off the guy who was throwing shit at her. And I think, well, quite honestly, the herbalist will probably, um, as I get a little more... A little more comfortable with it um, I'll probably end up leaving the herbalist to tank shit more than Heath Straw. usually it's the other way around um, that's what I've been doing a lot lately with my runekeeper when I when I solo these but um, we will uh, maybe since we are the way we are um, in terms of setup with myself healing and her with more tanking shit on um, maybe we'll just let her just tank that shit and, you know, uh, go after Heathstraw. Or go after Heathstraw. Go help Heathstraw, I should say. Give him more of our attention. But, like I said, a lot of these are really easy. And I've never really... Actually, this is the first time I've played... This is the first time I've done a scenario with this exact setup. I mean, I've played the captain, obviously, a little bit before, right? I'm level 65. I'm a decent amount of... Halfway through the game, I guess. But uh, I never really, uh, never really played with him in scenarios much. And when I did, I had the protector. So it's a completely different scenario when you get a different soldier to help you. So that is what it is. Like I said, we'll we're going the tank route with the mitigation herald and all that good stuff. So I like shit like that, and I figured it'd be something that I've never done before. So I'd give it a try, even if it fucking screws up. Oh Jesus! Herbalist, you came all the way over here to help me, and you're just gonna leave good old Heathy over here by himself. Uh, that's what I want. Piss everyone off. Give us some heals. And there we go. Stabby, stabby. Alright, that guy. Oh, completing more shit. There we go, more heals. Can always go with more heals. Well, like I said, I mean, you look at everyone except for Heathstraw. Jesus, Heathstraw, you just fucking suck. I think a lot of it, too, is I'm not really pulling anything off of him. Um, like I said, typically with a DPS, at least, you're pulling a little bit more. This guy is more of a support. Support, uh... Well, it's set up to more support people, obviously. Um... Because he's, you know, yeah, kind of off heels. AoE heals, heals over time, whatever you want to call them. I mean, all of the above, really. So I'm not really, uh, not really that set up to. Ooh, I should be using this. I really should be using this. I forgot I had this. Let's toss that in there. Oh, that was neat. That was neat. Sorry. It all caught up in all that shit and all that stuff. But anyhow, I actually do need to go through and reorganize everything. I'll probably do that before I do the next episode with this guy. So, um, yeah. I'll 
try to do that just because you know like i said kind of oh what kind of oh that's five second cooldown so you are a lot longer than that so as are you so maybe maybe oh i know what i'm gonna do i know what i'm gonna do oh shit see this is where this is where getting caught up in uh you know not paying attention kind of screws it Torchbearer is sitting out here walking all by himself. There we go. Let's go. Heal the fellowship. Oh, I should probably use my defeat shit too, huh? Because that's okay. That, 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 right, that's, okay. that's a targeted heal, so I actually got a target heath straw to use that shit. I'll just do this. Look at that. Damn. Love the heels. Love the heels with the fucking captain. So much fun. Oops. Oh, I didn't use it good. Let's move you down here. So I'm, I'm actually going to want to use you here. Not a big fan of the mark. I, I know those actually help out and shit, but... Alright, we do not have... Uh, whatever you want to call it here. But anyway... I do like these little pale trappers. They're like these little evil fucking little evil um, hobbits. It's kind of fun. Kind of fun to kick their asses. In all honesty. Jesus, that is such a low cooldown. I can just spam the hell out of that. Oops. There we go. And the defeats. Oh, the defeat skills. Jesus Christ. See, there we go. That works a little bit better, I think. I think that's what we were missing to help out Heathstra. See where Heathstra is now? He's all the fucking way over there. Why the hell he's not going to come back over there is beyond me, but he'll end up taking that shit here in a second, won't he? It's his own damn fault. Yeah, there's been times where I've had him all the way out in between here. Oh, fuck. You're an enforcer. Why are you one of the fucking guys over here? Ah, scream at you. And then hit you with my... Oops. That is one thing I kind of don't like about the captain. I, I really do enjoy this class a lot. It's probably my second favorite next to the next to the runekeeper in this game. But um, one thing I kind of don't like is their skills seem to take a long, long time to go off. I mean, I'm used to my, uh, you know, guardian where I'm playing him and soloing with him. And he just, you know, I can ex just explode in the stuff. And just do all sorts of skills and just fly through my rotation. This guy, I mean, is... A lot of setup, and you, know, you gotta wait a while for him to really pull that shit off, which is kind of annoying. Like I said, when when you go from playing like the the DPS guardian to doing this, you know, you just it takes forever to get anything off. And like I said, I fly through the rotation on my guardian, so it's like so I hit a bunch of buttons and I end up skipping shit with this guy. So it's gonna take some getting used to. And one of the reasons why I really wanted to, ooh, I think we gotta. A lieutenant here too so I'm just gonna scream at you and try and kill you as fast as I can see how I did that there I skipped past uh, sheer strike all right now you're dead yeah, he's struck oh my god he's strong he's strong he's strong he's strong buddy there we go shit yeah you're just in the nick of time this fucker is about to eat it and this one oh fuck why oh Tch. The guy was dead. I'm sitting here spamming my buttons and not paying attention to what's what's alive and what's dead. At least now with uh, with using the other the other uh, whatever the hell this is called gallant display, I can kind of do a little more to try and pump out some heals. There you go. Goylog now enters. We're at the end. We've gotten through all three phases, which waves and waves and. One thing that's cool, I believe Goylog and his little wolf will come towards you wherever you're standing. So if you stand over here, once again, if he throws way the fuck over here, he'll still aggro. Otherwise, if you don't, yeah, he'll just need it. Goylog, though, in all honesty, is kind of a punk. He's real easy. He goes down real fast. With a DPS class, you smoke him like nobody's business really some of the some of the lieutenants if you will on your way here are much worse than he is and we're about to get really close to leveling here you get quite a bit of experience out of these things and we went from about here all the way through here with our rest and all that good shit so pretty happy 
about that. That is one one reason um, to do skirmishes. Um, some of them you do through the course of the storyline. Um, they kind of force you into them, and that's okay. Like I said, it's, that's a neat little way to kind of do something different. Um, but like I said, it's a good alternative there if you're bored and you just want to like fly through your um, rest experience and just move on to something else. If you really don't want to play your character and you just want to eat up the rest experience and then and then be done with it, that's a good way to do it. Um, and in all honesty, at 99, it only takes two skirmishes to go through your daily rest stuff. So anyway, that's that. Um, I'm not sure which one I'll do next. Probably one of the early ones like this again. Um, yeah, probably like Siege of Gondamon or something like that. But anyway, if you made it this far on YouTube, you know what to do. Thanks a lot for watching. That's a weird-ass looking tree. Anyway, bye now.